Hello guys, and this is our weekly highlight phase of analysis by Fauci. So this is our second game and our third highlight for this match, uh, for this game it, between Team Panabo and Team Isaya. So again, ang ating Reagan pala guys ay nasa, is from Panabo at ang ating team sa Dire is from Midsayap. And another quick recap before we start. In this game, we can see na medyo fair ang kanilang labanan but unfortunately dito sa top and bottom ng ating team sa Dire, nasira na yung rocks nila and also the bottom side. So, I think napaka, malak malakas na yung kanilang creeps dito sa top and bottom. Nahirapan na sila mag-push dito, as you can see. I think it was, if nakita nyo yung live, or you can see ano nangyari, but if not, it was the joint teamwork ng ating invoker, ng Ember Spirit, tsaka Wind Ranger. Napansin natin na sila yung nag-push and nang didistract sa kalaban, just pushing the objectives dito sa top and sa bottom. So, dito sa ating clash na ito, and let's see the net worth. Muna, by the way. So, 1k lang lamang nila. So, lapi, lapit na talaga, no? But, sa, sa kills naman, konti lang din lamang nila, actually. Nakabawi din naman ang ating dar dito sa middle. So, it's not that much. Pwede naman sila, if they win this clash, they could just go straight dito and end. But, let's see kung ano nangyari dito. Actually, this is one of the most crucial fights sa uh, match na ito. It will determine kung sino nang nanalo or sino matatalo. So, let's go. And find out ano nangyari. Shadow Fiend, tingnan natin ang kanyang items. May ages siya. So actually they won a clash beforehand. But yeah, they actually won and they managed to get the ages. So it's so si Shadow Fiend ang nakakuha. But I think the, sh the Shadow Fiend medyo naging overconfident sa pagpunta dito sa shrine. Actually, wala silang wards. And also, wala sa lang pang invis detection. And itong shadow fiend lang natin ang nagsasolo dito sa shrine area na ito. As you can see, makalat yung kanilang, uh, kanilang formation. Ang Sears Maiden, nandyan. Ang, ang dying naman, nandito. So, kind of a mishap dito sa ating team there. This shadow fiend just went in. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's overconfidence in his part. Kasi may Aegis naman siya and may BKB. And he didn't notice na may nag moonlight shadow ang Mirana, so wala talaga silang anything. Walang even vision and even pang detect sa invisible heroes. So he went there and nag-wait yung ating, ating um, Ember Spirit sa backup niya, which is si Wind Ranger and si Rubik. So there you go. And a perfect shackle. Na <laughs> straight talaga sa kahoy, ano? So yung nakita nila na shackle ang kanilang pinakamamahal na Shadow Fiend. So they tried to... This, uh, wala talaga sa magawa and this weaver just went in dito sa clash. Also, Crystal Maiden, but yeah, before they could back up, na, na, na cost na yung Aegis ni, ni Shadow Fiend. And then, hindi makablink in si Crystal Maiden thanks to that shearing chains and this flight of fist attack ni Ember Spirit. And I don't know, ba't niya gipop ka agad yung kanyang BKB, but yeah, I think nag auto attack lang siya dun. It's not enough to cast the blocking bar. Pero fast hand by this invoker. I think si invoker yung nag-hex sa kanya. So, I think, <laughs> wala talaga siyang magawa dun ng ating Shadow Fiend. It's a very futile fan. Naging, naging ano siya, naging dummy free hit na siya dito sa shrine area. So, this Weaver tried to distract the enemy team by hitting kung sino mo yung pinakamalambot, which is Rubik. And the mute si Rubik so he can't cast anything itong Glimmer Cape to escape. There you go, a secure, a kill secure by this uh, Ember Spirit dito sa ating Shadow Fiend. And also Crystal Maiden, actually I really like how she blinked in and then cast the BKB and then cast the Freezing Field. The dummy ang nak na caught sa radius niya. But unfortunately, marami sila naka BKB and Invoker just managed to, to, medyo malayo siya no, sa gitna so pwede lang siya makatakas dito. And then he managed to go to his way out dito sa clash. So may BKB lahat. And this frail crystal maiden, even though may BKB siya, may vulnerability siya sa magic damage, but she's not really that vulnerable sa physical attacks. As you can see, itong mirana natin, no? Oh, ang laki ng damage. And that, anyways, there you go, this crystal maiden. And I don't know why this weaver 
trade his cheese dito sa gem. So, ito yung naka, nagpapadistract sa kanya. He can actually get his way out dito. Pero, I think naging priority sa kanya ang gem. Which costed him his life. There you go. And the rest of the teammates, ngayon pa dumating, I think they should have just backed out dito sa clash na ito. And a perfect, a perfect tornado by invoker. Itong dalawa talaga ang nakot up sa tornado na ito. They can't escape and it made the team sa Radiant na mag-position themselves properly para ma-disable itong dalawa. Wala sila ang enough capability to deal enough damage sa apat na ito. So, it's actually a futile attempt. There you go, and this, is, this Ember Spirit dealt the final blow, causing an Ultra Kill by this Ember ultra Spirit. Kill. Plague, by flame. So, yeah, I think it was actually, I think it was kind of an overconfidence by Shadow Fiend. Wala <laughs> silang wards dun, but it still went, and then all of his teammates were medyo makalat yung team, team nila kahit saan sila and hindi sila nakaback up kagad and actually pa isa isa sila pumunta doon sa clash area which costed them the fight and it's actually a team wipe by team radiant dito sa, sa dire na ito and a 1 to 5 trade and rubik yung si rubik lang ang napatay actually so it's very sad for rubik but their, their team is actually winning in any ways Ang nanalo sa, <laughs> sa fight na ito, as ma face of na ito, is actually team from Panabo. So, congratulations. And, yeah, they, hindi na sila naka-defend even though may tatlong buyback dito. And this is actually, as I've told earlier, ito yung parang crucial fight na will determine who will win. So, congratulations team Panabo in this face off And, well played by Mid Sayap. So, there you go guys. This is our last highlight. And, see you later. Bye-bye.